Hello, uh, so I'm making a video here to show everyone how to uh, extend the free space on the Linux server. Uh, as you show, uh, you see in this uh, diagram, right? Uh, if I have a server here, I have only one hard disk. Uh, basically, that hard disk would be uh, represented by uh, one file. You know, everything is a file under Linux. So, that hard disk would be represented as a uh, SDA file under dev folder, device folder. <coughs> so if this hard disk have a partition, then you would also see SDA1 and SDA2. So uh, if I, uh, for example, if I add secondary hard disk, that hard disk will not show as SDA3, right? Just to make that concept clear. That physical hard disk would be a SDB. If I add a third one, that would be SDC, right? So that number one and two, that's for partition. If I have a partition for the second hard disk, I would see SDB1, SDB2, right? So just to have that concept clear first. Now let's get started. By the way, I'm running a, a Linux server. It's a temporary server for testing purpose. I have a Linux server here running on uh, VMware. Let's say I have a um, situation here. I have only one hard disk, right? 45 gig. I'm kind of uh, run out of space. I want to add uh, 10 more gig. Right? Basically, you go here, you see, uh, you run this command. You have 45 gig on this hard disk. Now these hard disks have two partitions. One partition goes to the boot folder, which is a Linux kernel for, uh, file resize. Now we have the rest of the folders on the SDA2 partition. Uh, what I mean is, first you check, you look at dev. <coughs> right, you have SDA file. That's a hard disk. So SDA1 is partition, SDA2 is partition. Right? So then you have boot folder, right? Boot folder is for the uh, SDA. Okay, boot folder uh, is use this partition SDA one folder, SDA one partition. So SDA two partition is all those uh, folder resize, those etc folder, those home folder, media folder, everything else is goes to SDA two. So. For example, on the home folder, everybody knows is all the user folder is. Um, it's, uh, it's very common, right? After you're running server for a while, you have uh, you're gonna run out of space. So basically, I have 45 gig. If you do dfh, I have 30 gig, 36 gig free space. So my goal is. Uh, here is uh, I'm gonna add, I need to add a 10 more gig on this SDA2, not SDA1. SDA1 is for the boot. Uh, my my computer, my server can boot properly, so no problem. I'm adding 10 gig. So by the end of this video, I suppose have a uh, 46 gig on SDA2, right? So let's get started. So first. We we'll finish first one. We run those commands to show basic information. Now we add desired space and reboot. So basically, you go here. <coughs> Forty-five gig. We we'll add ten gig. Will be fifty-five. Okay. Right. After you add ten gig, you come here. It's still 45, right? Because the Linux is not aware you actually added 10 gig. So, you do TFH. Right, still 36 gig free space. So, that's why we need to reboot. There's a command to actually manually rescan the Sikasi hard disk uh, or controller, whatever. But uh, that's not the, that's out of the scope of this video, right? This video is. Uh, we just got job done, so we reboot. Uh, so 
the purpose for the reboot is for the Linux to aware, okay, you actually added the uh, 10 gig free space. Reboot. By the way, uh, I'm launching a, a graphic interface. It's not necessary for this uh, for this video, right? It's not necessary. It's just for the demonstration purpose. Okay. Should be okay. All right now, it's 55 gig. But what happened is. Uh, those additional spaces not usable yet. Okay, this one you can um, can be verified by a df command. Right? Df command. Look, it's still 36 gig free space. What I mean by uh, demonstration purpose. Right? Here, if you go to system monitor, you see it's still 45 gig. Right, uh, available space is uh, 38 gig. So available space here. So it's not usable by the system. So the next one is we're gonna change uh, partition table number four partition table. So we're gonna do add disk. Uh, we're gonna partition this hard disk. Right. Uh, basically, you use uh, M. It's gonna show what actually available. So basically, we're gonna do a p to print partition table. Right? So we have two partition, two partition here, so SDA one and SDA two. So basically, we're gonna delete. Uh, we're gonna delete it. Look, if you do, there's no extend partition here. There's no extend or expand partition here. So you. What we do is we have to delete this partition, and then we're gonna create one. That's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna delete the partition, which is second one. The first one is SDA one, is boot partition. Uh, you cannot delete anyway. So we're gonna delete second partition. Okay, partition two is deleted. We do P, right? Now, remember, um, don't do W. Yeah, if you do W here, you're gonna lose all the data because you just delete the partition and you write it. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is immediately after you delete partition, you're gonna do the new, okay? Make new partition. Look, add a new partition, okay? So, immediately, so we're gonna add new partition. We're gonna add primary partition. Uh, partition number is number two. Right, we just delete number two. Okay, the first sector. Look, this is a SDA one, right? Last sector is this one, the last sector. So the first sec sector for the partition we added, that would make sense, right? Add one, add one here. So which is default. So you don't have to do anything. Just hit enter. So last sector. Look, it I think the eleven million is is increased. Um, originally, before we delete this position, the last sector is this. So now, we delete that position. We're gonna add a new position. So, just hit enter for the default. Now, if you print, right? So, on the position table. This already changed. Now we do W. Okay, it says okay. You need to reboot. So the computer gonna aware. Okay, you have a new protein table. In reboot. Okay, hit enter. Yeah, we just did this reboot. This is after we changed position table. Okay, there's two reboot yet. Uh, already done. We 
we get this reboot so kernel aware you add space now we change the partition table with this reboot so computer have a new partition table in place root okay mm. if you do lsblk it's still 55 gig right but if you do dfh look still 36 gig is still not usable yet right so now we're gonna do three most important step. It's a lot of steps actually. First, you add desired space. Now, the number four is a partition table. Now, you need extend the physical value, extend the physical value first, then you extend the logical value, then you extend the file system, three steps. First, extend the physical value. Physical value, PV resize, PV resize. You do PV resize, okay? Physical value resize. What do you want resize? Resize this hard disk, partition two. Okay, one physical value is resized. This one don't need a reboot, okay? Now extend the logical value. The logical value, you need logical value display first to show you okay what logic value you have okay now let's read start let's use a graphic interface otherwise it's gonna be uh, out of a screen my, my, my recording software not gonna not gonna show the command Large value display. Uh, large value DISP display. Large value. We do we run that command because we want to write down this logical value pass. LV pass. Logical value pass. Which is dev red hat Linux root. Okay, we write down that one. Now we need to do logical value extend. So the command is large value extend. Okay. You can use main command to, so you know how to use this command. A large value extend. Okay. So there's, there's a couple of um, uh, option here. A switch. You can use what we're gonna use is use dash l, right? Because we're gonna use a percentage it's much easier. Basically, we just do 100%. You can also use uh, a capital L. So that will be uh, followed by the hard disk size. Uh, that's harder because you're not going to figure out the exact number of, uh, in terms of uh, megabyte. I think it's M or something. So we're going to use percentage much easier. So large value extend dash lower L right? uh, add plus sign hundred percent free that's a uh, uppercase free okay you add hundred percent to where to the logical value pass right here logical value pass okay you're gonna add to dev Okay, large value successfully resized. So you extend the physical value, you extend the logic value. The last step is extend the file system. So without doing the last one, you do df h, right? It's still 36 gig. So you need to add, extend the file system. The file system is two popular file systems. Right? 
if you, if you have a, a different file system other than this, uh, you, you just check the menu. So I'm just cover two most popular file system here. Uh, I'm happen uh, use XFS. Right. I think I have access can be F disk. You can use F disk as well. Uh, to show the file system you are using. Uh, hold on. Publishing that. I think this is also gonna show right. Um, XFS. Yeah, so XFS is the file system system I'm using. Uh, XFS, look, right. So if it's XFS, is the command is XFS grow file system. Okay, followed by LV pass. LV pass is um, good. Okay, data blocks changed from this to this. Now to verify, you just do PF H. All right, now you have 46 gig. So until you see this one, you run this command, you have this. Now you know this uh, server finally realized 10 more gig. See how hard it is compared to Windows, right? The Windows basically you just add free space and just go to that uh, uh, computer management, disk management. You just basically extend, right click, right? Just extend it. But in the Linux, that's how it goes. All right. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, since we're here, uh, since I have a diagram here, I just want to show you what that means by adding secondary hard disk. Because what we did is uh, we just we add uh, we extended some uh, free space on the first one, right? What I mean by add second hard disk? Really quick. Remember, everything is read represented by a file, associated with a file in Linux. So for that hard disk, oh, why is it like this? Right, that SDA Hold on, hold on, will I just do Yeah. SDA is the hard disk, right? The SDA1 is partition, SDA2 is partition. There's no SDB, right? Because we don't have secondary hard disk. What happened is also you, you do LSDLK, you see only SDA, right? You have uh, this one, maybe a CD ROM, but so only have SDA, SDA1 is partition. So what happened is uh, if you add secondary hard disk, Let's say one day we are we gonna add a secondary hard disk. Uh, we just add a new device. We add a new hard disk. Let's say we add 10 gig hard disk. Right here. So you do LSBLK. Right? Immediately you have a SDB, it's 10 gig hard disk. If you do LS device folder you're gonna see SDB here there's no SDB 1 and 2 yet because we did not do the partition yet so we don't have partition on the, on the hard disk all right uh, hopefully uh, this is informative for you uh, hope you hope you enjoy this video because right? I'm uh, I'm confused by this concept uh, for a while so finally I figured it out so I figure uh, to share this with all you guys. Thank you.